What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Last time we talked to everyone on the, well, almost everyone on the ship, see what everyone was up to, and then we got roped into one of Phantom Thief B's uh, games again, where he uh, masqueraded as a student of Class 7 and asked Reen to figure out who the imposter was. The imposter ended up being Machias, uh, which... He sold his Machia's performance very well, you know, always getting mad at Eusis' uh, provocations. But now we are going to continue onward. So we are going to... We're going to start with the student stuff. Uh, check in with all the students. We will do the last... We'll do Klein and Hebel last because they're doing a job. Or uh, recruiting them has to do with a request that we have. So we're going to do these four first. So Kenneth... We're starting off with you, spotted along the Norsha Highway. So let's go ahead and find him. I'm sure he's off fishing somewhere. Oh, Reen, did you see the request from Klein and Hebel? Yeah, it sounds like they've run into something pretty serious. You've read the details too, right? About an airliner being hijacked and the passengers being taken hostage? Yeah, this would normally be a matter for one of the armies, but with the war going on, they can't spare the manpower. That's why the two of them decided to step in and take matters into their own hands. And if we can, I'm sure... But, and if we can, we'll be sure to go help them out too. Where did they say they were currently waiting? The eyes are range, right? Right, apparently the hijacked airliner is being kept somewhere near there. I know their exact coordinates too, so let me know when you're ready to go and we'll get you right there. Alright. Getting Angie back in perfect health is such a big worry. Oh, getting Angie back in perfect health is such a big worry off my mind. Now I just want to see Crow again. Well, I kind of did see him when you were on the Panther Grove, but we didn't get a chance to talk or anything. Sorry about that. Valmar and I won't rest until we make that happen, though. I promise you, we will bring him back. It just might take some time. I can't wait. Until you do, I'll try my best to be the best captain I possibly can. Obviously, we have new uh, new places. Yeah, that's Klein and Hebel's request. Rower. Staff and Iron Mine, Schwarz Drake Barrier. These are all places where the students are at. Okay, so where are they at? Ignis Shrine right there. Arya Shrine. So I think the Ignis one was the only one we didn't uh, go near. Terra Shrine. Aqua Shrine. Note that the main story will advance when you complete any of the four shrines, so be absolutely certain of everything else you want to do first. Alright, so... So the Norsha Highway is where Hebel is supposed to be, right? But let's go to Rower first, because we already know where Hugo is there. Ah, oh, hello. Hey, Hugo, here on business? You bet. I'm here to finalize the negotiations on a deal with the Reinfart Company. Oh, well, I've got the chance. On behalf of Kleiss Co., let me thank you for your considerable efforts the other day. Sometimes it strains belief that you're just a student like us and not a seasoned businessman. Well, either way, this presents a good chance, something we want to talk to you about. I see. I expected you to turn up and ask me eventually. I'm certainly not opposed to fighting alongside you. After all, it seems like you've got Becky lending you a hand. Then you'll come with us? Well, yes and no. I just can't hop on board right this instant. I still have my fingers in a few pies around here. In fact, I'm in the middle of settling, setting up a commerce network with some other like-minded individuals. A commerce network? You heard me. This network will unite 
commercial firms and businesses all across Arabonia with Kleiss & Co. at the center. And if everything goes according to plan, I might just be able to do something about the stagnated flow of goods into Arabonia. Or that's my plan, at least. It'd be quite the coup for Kleiss & Co.'s head of sales to be... to bring an idea that big to life. I'd say it just makes sense for a man in my position, wouldn't you? Hmm. Are you here on business related to that, then? That's right, but I'm done here, at least for the moment. There's still a few more places I need to stop by, though. Which is why I'm afraid I can't come with you just yet. Not until I've gotten all those boxes checked. Oh, okay. Can't very well pluck you away when you're in the middle of work. Wonder if there's anything we can do to help him. How about this? We got our very own airship. How about we just go to all the places you haven't gotten to yet? You? We've been flying all over eastern half of the Empire. In all likelihood, we'll be paying those places a visit anyway. If you ask me, it seems sensible to let us take care of it. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> I think you're onto something there. Alright, I think I will let you guys handle this. Great, so where haven't you been able to get to yet? Legram and Yamir are my last two. I've had a chance to touch base with my contacts in all the other major locations already. All I need you to do is to find the person representing each town's merchants and vendors and get them to sign one of these. Seems perfectly doable. I'll make sure these get to where they need to go. Ymir should be a snap at least. I know the head of the Merchants Association there. I think I know the person you're talking about in Legram. Well, good luck then. We'll meet up when, every, when you finish everything up. I'll be commuting to and from Heimdallar, getting this squared away before I come aboard. Sounds good to me. Shall we be off then? Well, guess we do have another job to do, so to speak. All right, well, may as well knock this out. So, Ymir, up here somewhere, right? Yeah, Ymir, here we go. All right, where is it? Oh, well, yeah, it would be just be the store. Hey, bud. Hey, Lord Reen, can I get you something? Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Forming a network with a big company from Heimdallar, huh? Sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. We're having a hard time getting stuff in lately, but it's clear we aren't the only ones. Working together on a common problem sounds like a great way to go forward. Then, think I have a look at that contract? Thanks for bringing this to me. Uh, while you're here, come by to play with Alf again if you got the time. He misses you. We appreciate your cooperation. I'll definitely swing by when all this is over. Thanks. That just leaves the shop in Legrand. May as well stop at the, uh, the hot springs while we're here to fill up my CP. <clears throat> Hello, Bado. Sorry, Bado, I want to go out hunting, but Father Bernard still says no. Not that you can understand even if I try to explain. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to play with you for a little while. Haha, <laughs> he never changes. Good boy. Alright, let's head over to the uh, the Phoenix Wings. That's what it's called, right? Yep. Definitely the cheapest place to uh, refill. Perfect. 200 for everybody. I didn't even think about uh, ornaments. What do you have? Tier, tier, Thalus, Curia. That's perfect. It's actually everything I need for you at the moment. 
Oh god. Is she still giving people trouble? So what are these hot spring thingies anyway? They toughen you up, huh? No, no they don't. Don't you lie to me, goody two-shoes. I heard there's a super strong old guy who loves them. Well, that's true, but... Come on, the hot springs is free for everyone. Try not to kick up a fuss about it, okay? Right? Oh, Patery. Uh, right. Back to the courageous. Ten to Legram real quick. Legram is down this way. Kind of funny. Legram and uh, Ymir are as far away as you can really get from each other. I do wonder if Tolval is back here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, if it isn't Lady Laura, is there something I can help you with? As a matter of fact, yes. Well now, that is interesting. It certainly makes sense for us merchants to come together in times like these. Does that mean you're willing to join the network? Gladly. May I see the contract? Thank you very much. We appreciate your cooperation. Think nothing of it. I can never turn down a personal request from you, Lady Laura. Well, I wish you the best of luck in whatever you're off to do next. That takes care of both contracts. We better get these back to Hugo and Roar. I don't understand why we didn't just bring Hugo with us. Hugo could have come in... I guess it did go faster since Reen's group personally knows the people who we were, you know, getting in contact with. Alright, let's get back to Roar. It's weird to... It's like finicky to kind of move the thing around on the... the cursor on the map. Oh, you're back. I take it you were able to get some fresh ink on those contracts then. Sure did. Here you go. Ah, these are perfect. Thanks for taking care of that for me. Now we've got all the main commercial firms in the Eastern Erebonia in our network. But things as they are, the West will have to wait. In good time, though, we should be able to bring them on board, too. Well, at least we're done now. Well, now that we've got that taken care of, what do you say? Will you come with us aboard the Courageous? I will. I've already made everyone at the company aware of my travel itinerary, so I can leave whenever you're ready. Uh, one more thing, though. Could you give me a hand with something, Green? I'd like to open a shop on board, you see. There's just one other thing I need to do while we're at it. I'm sure that's fine. Rain returned to the Courageous with Hugo. After parting ways with everyone else, the two of them set to getting a shop prepped and ready. Jeez. You got horse saddles, you got plants, you got food. Hats. You got all kinds of stuff here. Here we go, that should do it. I made sure to bring only the best of the best from our company. It's a perfect, it's a pretty fine selection, no? All that's left now is to use it all to aid you. Thanks, really appreciate it. Here, Hugo. Oh, hey, Becky. Don't you hey, Becky, me, with that cool out of your attitude of yours, wee man? First you decide to roll in out of nowhere, then you get on the bright idea to set up a shop right bleeding next to me? What's the issue? This is just about the only spot worth setting up a shop in. I figured even you'd realize that. Ugh, we Bam doesn't even realize how worried I was. Setting that aside, what's the deal with... Oh my god, D doing her <laughs> accent is so difficult to read. What's the deal with this we network you're cobbling together under the rug like? No one at the Grand Market got told. Trying to cut us out of the picture, eh? Huh? Didn't you tell us that Legram and Ymir were the only places left? 
Sorry, I kept you in the dark on purpose. Not for any pernicious reason, I assure you. Mostly so I could do this. Hugo handed a Commerce Network contract to Becky. What's this now? I figured it'd be easiest to hand it to you in person since I knew you were already aboard the Courageous. And now that I'm here, we've got the Network's Kleisen Co. and Keldic representatives working closely together. We should be able to handle things far more efficiently this way. I see you have this all planned out. Ah, typical Hugo. Well, at least it all worked out. We didn't need to make it back to town. I don't have any reason to be here. Oh, right. One of the side jobs is here as well. Yeah, isn't one of the students over here as well? They're at the uh, factory. Oh, may as well go there while we're here. The Rower Institute of Technology. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no, it's not you. Isn't there supposed to be a student here? Are you a student? Marquis Rogner withdrawing from the Alliance means that Rower's neutral now, right? That's great news. We don't need to worry about being attacked or any of that stuff now. Now I can devote myself wholeheartedly to my studies. Thank goodness. I guess that's good. Oh, aren't you the students from Class 7? How's it going? Your name's Ratto, isn't it? You're the researcher we met during our field study here. Oh yeah, didn't we help you out on something while we were here? Wow, good memory. It's good to see you guys again. I can't thank you enough for liberating Rora either. The number of reasons for me to be in your debt keeps going up and up. I don't know about that. Still, is there anything we can do for you? You seem bothered about something. Oh, you can tell? Well, you see, someone I know is missing. He actually goes to your... Okay, here it is. He actually goes to your school, but he's a second year, so I don't know if you'd know him. His name's Stefan. Stefan? Did he ever mention being in the lower class... Oh, he's the one Machias is always with. Lower class chess club. He did. As a matter of fact, he made it here with a few other Thor students. One of his relatives is enrolled here, so he ended up studying in our department under the, their recommendation. I'm glad he made it to tri out of Trista safely. But where could he have gone? You happen to have any idea where he is now? I'm guessing he went to test his little gadget he's been working on here. I told him to be careful if he planned to go out, so I doubt we have too much to worry about, but you know, I think anyone would be concerned in your position. Maybe we should go look for him. You mind if we go out looking for him just in case? There's no way we'd turn our backs on anyone in danger. On top of that, he's a fellow Thor student. You sure? I mean, if you are, by all means. I'm guessing Stefan's somewhere along the Norsha Highway. You've been there before, right? It's to the south. Take care, though. The monsters around here have been more dangerous than ever lately. Thanks for the heads up. Well, since he's in the chess club, um, I do want to bring Machias along. So for this one, let's swap Gaius out. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Um, who did I just take out by accident? All oh, right, Emma. Okay. So the Norsha Highway. I forget which direction it is. Find a by road. Oh, it's this way. Okay, not on this first one. We haven't had a fight in a while. さっさと私の番だね。行く。任せてくれ。ほら、行くぞ。そう。今だ。ここだけ。やったね。完全勝利。あ。
Scud wings. Shotgun blast. Thunder vortex. Nice. I don't really recall who was in our group last time, so I guess they just haven't been in the party for a while. Oh, our monster request is over here, too. May as well knock it out while we're here. Because then the only other job to do will be what we're doing with uh, Klein and Hebel. Oh my god. This is the one, right? Oh no, is this not it? No, this is Norsha Highway. Oh, this must just be one of the cryptids then. Okay, we're not gonna... That's gonna be a much higher level than we're ready for. I'll need to keep that in mind when I see these monsters on the road. Oh no. What the? That looks like... Don't come any closer. Goddess, please help me. Stefan! Machius Reen? Leave these monsters... I'm glad I brought Machius along. Leave these monsters to us. We'll take care of them. It's so funny how many of these... I know not everyone who goes to Thor's enters combat classes, but it's just so funny to me how many of the non-Class 7 students aren't really, like, fighters. Yes! Let's check it out. Oh, we missed one. True armor breaker. We'll take it. It still is kind of crazy to me. We're in like the 90s of levels when we started this game in the 40s. Phew, there we go. You aren't hurt, are you, Stefan? No, I'm fine. Thank you for coming to my aid. I don't even have a scratch on me. Thank you so much, Machias. Rest of you guys, too. And now that I'm not about to come to some monster's next meal, let me just say I'm glad to see you all. It's good to see you, too. I was praying you made it out of Trista, all right? Same here. Another happy reunion. It's very touching to see them, isn't it? Aw, oh, nice to see you two reunited. What are you doing out all the way out here anyway. Doesn't seem like the safest place for a student to be alone. Well, I came here to conduct a test on a program I developed at the Institute. I think it'll prove useful to you, so if I could, I'd like to get it finished before hopping aboard. Unfortunately, I ran into a nasty bug during testing and now it won't work properly. It was when I was trying to fix it that those monsters suddenly surrounded me. I see, well in that case, I studied programming quite a bit back at the end. I feel like they probably forced you to bring Machias along. I studied a bit of, uh, quite a bit back at the academy, so I'm inclined to think I might be of some help to you. What do you say? Really, Machias? That'd be swell. Yeah, swell. Machias and Stefan teamed up to debug the program. Meanwhile, the rest of Class 7 stood guard, ensuring they could focus on their work. It's done. Now it works. Perfectly. 
Thank you. Thank you, Machias, and everyone here, too. Thanks again. I'm just glad I wasn't out of my depth. Incidentally, what kind of program is it? It's a database system to gather info for combat situations. Not to blow my own trumpet, but it's really useful. You can pull up anything stored in this little guy instantly. Wow. Recording combat statistics, huh? That does sound rather convenient. Yep, and knowing is half the battle. Very cliche line to have, but not wrong. I tried inputting the data from the fight you had as a test, and it's looking like it'll work great. Sorry I had to uh, put you out to finish things, but thanks to you, it ended up being a huge success. I'll have to go and let Ratto know about this right away. All right, everyone head, everyone ready to head back to the Institute? May as well. Thanks a ton for finding him. I'm guessing you're going to go with them, right, Stefan? That's right, still, thank you so much for all you've done for me. Now I'm going to do my best to support my fellow Academy students. Awesome, and good luck. I'll keep rooting for you. By the way, I put the database program you made into a memory quartz. All you need to do is install it onto one of the Courageous's computers and you'll be good to go. Thank you. This will sure come in handy. It'll be great to have you with us, Stefan. Let's work to cave back our Academy together. You bet. Haha, <laughs> they're so worked up, you'd think they were in some sports club instead. Well, chess is a sport, it's just not an action sport. After bidding a fond farewell, Rado returned to his club. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Right, we have to go to Isengard Range for that, and then North Cruise and Highway for that. All right, let me just double check on the list again. All right, Kenneth, Norsha Highway, where we just were, so we're gonna head back there. Schwarz Drake Barrier, also along that area. And then Klein and Ebel are part of the quest. So, Norsha Highway, that's the shrine. <laughs> Alright, so let's head here and we'll just walk back up here uh, to find the other one. I think we'll find these two students and then call it a video. Because then next time we can get started on the last uh, student request before getting started on the spirit shrines. I mean, we still have that monster. Maybe we'll do these two students and take out the monster. Oh, uh, rest areas over here. Wait. Oh, he's here now. Hey, Rex. I got the RMP to drop me off at Rower and made my own way here to check on things. Sounds like the battle was pretty wild. I'm surprised you guys made it out of there with all your fingers and toes. You guys are straight up miracle workers. Wish I could say that's true. Something happened? Hey, uh, I'm not going to pry or anything, but just don't let it get you two down, okay? Wow, Rex being considerate. If I cheer you up, I can show you my top secret cuties of the RMP collection. I appreciate the thought, but maybe you should keep that hidden. That might be a good idea, but I do have something you could look at in the public. Check out this novel I read. You'd be amazed at how quick a book can make time go when you're traveling. Maybe it'll come in handy for you, too. Well, there we go. This I will take you up on, thanks. Yeah, Gambler Jack. I don't know if it's much safer read, but I guess it depends what Jack's gotten into. Oh, Vincent! That was his name. Oh, my wonderful Vincent. How many more cold nights must I endure without you to keep me warm? Margarita, is that you? Rain? Class 7? Are you all here to see me? How sweet. Wouldn't have expected to find a student in a place like this. It's nice to see you well, Margarita. Ah, uh, yes, it was definitely worth taking a massive detour to find out if one of your schoolmates was well or not. Speaking of, what are you doing here? Well, I stay at the academy for a while. My family sent someone to pick me up and took me home for a long, though. Then I snuck off on the way back, and here I am. 
And you thought that was a good idea because... Silly Reen, surely you don't have to ask. Because the love of my life, Vincent, is still at the Academy. I couldn't bear to be separated from him for a single moment longer than I must. You're so devoted, Margarita. Love truly works in mysterious ways. One good weirdo deserves another. I know as well as anyone how terrifying it is when this woman sets her sights on you. Just the memory makes me shiver. Two star-crossed lovers separated by war. It's a tragedy for the ages. Though I have been trying to return to the Academy ever since. Unfortunately, I've now ended up stuck here. When will we finally be able to see each other again? I think of him every moment of every day, and yet cruel fate continues to tear us apart. Oh boy. Huh. I was going to invite her to join the Courageous, but it doesn't seem right when she's so down in the dumps. Maybe someone who knows her better uh, than I do would be able to cheer her up. Someone from her club, maybe. I don't remember what club she's in. Oh, wait, she's in the food. Like, Millium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Millium's in her club, right? How long must we be apart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. When you turn into a big old damsel in distress. This isn't the margarita I know. The margarita I knew was fun. Fun? Just what are you implying? Well, first of all, the margarita I knew, no, never gives up. And when she sees something she wants, she takes, I don't know if, <laughs> I mean, in the right way, that's a good quality to have. It shows you have confidence and you believe that, you know, you know what you deserve, but not in the way she's trying to take things. I mean, none of my other friends ever mix shady drugs into food to get people to fall for them. Okay, you're... And nobody else spent an entire day stalking the guys they liked and blocking their escape routes. Milliam, these are not good qualities. She's the kind of girl who'd jump into hell and take the place over in a second if she thought Vincent was hiding down there. Well, I... Wait, is this list of crimes supposed to be a pep talk? <laughs> anyway, you see what I mean? That's the Margarita I knew back at... I know from back at Thor's. And now I see this Margarita sitting around waiting for Vincent to come to her. That's no fun at all. But I guess that's none of my business. I'm just a bit let down is all. You... You know, you're absolutely right. Love is a battle, a bloody protracted, pro why protracted? No holds barred battle that you have to fight for yourself. I really don't like where this is going. Consider yourselves lucky. From this day forth, I will be by your side offering my valuable assistance. I'll go and hunt down my beloved Vincent myself. Then I'll never ever let him escape my embrace again. There she is, there's the margarita I know. Glad to have you back. See? This is already way more fun. Oh no, Millium reawakened the beast. I'm sorry, Vincent. I'll keep you in my prayers. Well, we got Margarita back at least. I guess that's a good thing. Hello, Notch. Farlin. Alright. And our, our fishing boy, Kenneth, should be all along this road somewhere. This is where we had our bloody battle. You can still see the the burns from the explosion. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. Okay, there we go. I don't think that's one of the shrines. That's probably where Kenneth is at. Although it's on the way to the shrine. You know what I'm curious about? Okay, yeah. No matter who you switch to. 
I think the only other case would be if you had Angelica in the party. Maybe she'll be the one riding the bike, but yeah, it's just Rain. Well, we found him. I'm sure he's not going to come with us until something fishing related happens, so. Like I said. Huh, Reen, is that you? Kenneth, so this is where you've been. Oh man, I'm so glad to see you're safe. What have you been doing all this time? I haven't been here long, but I have some stories for you. I left the academy as soon as the war broke out, of course. I guess I could have gone back home after that, but I didn't really feel like it. Well, yeah, he is a noble. Isn't he part of the... Fi I, I might be remembering wrong. I thought, isn't he part of the Imperial Fishing like Club family? You know, the ones that were trying to take over the Crossbell Branch? So instead, I've just been wandering between places unaffected by war, living off the fish I could catch. For a noble, that's a very common way to live. I can't think of many who could lead the happy life of a fisherman during a time of a civil war. Gutsy move. Anyway, I'm glad we ran into you. Would you be willing to join us? We could really use your help. Annabelle's been worried sick about you this whole time, too. Huh, really? Never would have guessed you guys were on the courageous. Well, it's an appealing offer, and I am pretty worried about Annabelle. But I can't right now. There's something I need to do here first. Aw, come on. Care to fill us in? In a nutshell, something really important fell into the river. Which would be pretty bad in and of itself, but a fish just happened to be swimming by and swallowed it. I want to catch that fish and get it back. Yeah, so it's going to turn into a fishing quest. Something really important, huh? Yeah, but I'll catch it. I'll be staying right here until I do. Once I've done that, though, I'll come and join you. How about that? Well, I could try to help you catch it. Remember, I know how to fish, and we're bound to increase our odds of catching it with two fishermen, right? You mean it? Haha, <laughs> thanks. That'd be great. I'd say that's kind of true, but if you have two lines constantly being thrown in the water, you might scare the fish away. The fish I'm after is a gluttonous bass. Great. True to the name, it swallows anything it can get its mouth around. Gluttonous bass, huh? Yeah, I can keep an eye out. Well, you know the deal. Where is it? Well, I guess we are far enough away from each other. This is a very rapid river, though. Look at how that water's flowing. Oh, I didn't mean to... Okay. Sorry. Oh, that is the gluttonous bass. Oh god, I can't keep up with it. Oh god, I got it. Okay. Gluttonous bass. Ugh, my hand, my hand hurts playing that game. Gold necklace. Got it. Kenneth, look. This fish had a necklace in its mouth. Oh, nice work, Green. You caught the fish way faster than I expected. Mind if I take a closer look? This is it. This is her necklace. I'm so happy I was able to recover it, or that you were able to. Who's her? I was under the impression we were looking for something of yours. Oh, I thought I told you already. Guess not. It's Annabelle's. Annabelle's? That's right. It's a memento of her grandmother. She dropped it in the river while we were running away together. So I thought I'd come back and see if I could find it for her. That's awfully ambitious. I guess fishing actually can be useful. Still, I couldn't be happier that you caught this for me. I better go give it back, shouldn't I? Hop on the Courageous, we'll give you a lift. We'll be in your mirror before you know it. Well, when you play it like that... Yes, this is it. This is Grandmother's Necklace. What a relief. That takes care of that, then. Mission complete. Thank you so, so much, all of you. Rain's the one who deserves all the thanks. He was the one who caught the fish that had swallowed it. It was honestly just luck that I caught it before you did. I bet if we hadn't shown up when we did, you'd have caught it yourself just fine without me. I'd like to believe I would have, at least. 
Regardless, with this necklace, I am now free to leave here whenever I wish. Let me take this opportunity to thank you for your advice too, Kenneth. I didn't do anything major, honestly. I hope you managed to sort out the whole engagement issue, though. Yes, so do I. Sounds like this is a personal matter we should intrude in. Anyway, I guess this means it's finally time for me to join you guys on The Courageous. I've got to repay you for all the work you've done for me and all that. We'll be happy to have you with us. Alright, I said we were going to deal with the monster, but I think we will save that for next time. So, let's just hop back aboard the Courageous real quick. And, um... Let me just check real quick before we end things off where we're standing with students, because there really should only be one left, right? Just the duo? Yeah, Klein and Hebel for the quest. All right, so next time we're going to go do the Klein and Hebel situation as well as the monster request that we have to do. Uh, so we'll handle these two. And then once these two are done, then we can finally get on with the spirit shrines and start getting that ore for Valimar's weapon. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.